Oh, welcome back. We're now going to talk to Julia Banks, who actually saved the federal government. She certainly Peter? did. She, she did, certainly didn't did. she? Well, Without her? Uh, we're delighted to have you here, Julia, and uh, it's great to have you here because, as Peter was just saying, yeah, you basically saved the government's neck. And, I mean, what a good thing you've done for Australia. <laughs> I mean, what a way to start. What a great what a way to start. Sort That's of thing, a good rap you got. Sort of thing you can rap. tell your grandchildren, you know, I saved, I saved the Mal government. I saved Malcolm Turnbull, is what I'd be saying <laughs> if I was you. You might as well personalise it. Exactly. But, yeah. uh, but uh, <laughs> can I just say to our audience, though, that uh, Julia Banks has fair bit of experience at the political level, so that's a, always a help. Uh, she's been very determined. She, she stopped work ages ago. To get into this campaign well before it was announced. Uh, she's had senior business uh, roles in, uh, I think, by and large, manufacturing. I might even ask her about that. Uh, she's got a law degree and an arts degree from Monash. Now, that is well, number you, one you in Melbourne. You and I both have those. So it's well qualified. No, ours is, uh, ours is Monash. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry yeah. <laughs> yes, but I'm in the same qualification. Oh, so, oh yeah, it wouldn't be quite. Why is the University of Queensland a great institution? I thought you might get round to that point. He's a, he's a bit slow, Julia, so that's to your advantage because uh, you, you, you're here. Uh, she's also been a member of the Federal Government's Advisory Council on Intellectual Property. Oh. Well, you've got to be pretty smart yes. to know about that because. Uh, well, patents are important for us. It was as well, well past my level, I'd have to say, as a lawyer. Um, and uh, she has been on the. Uh, she's been director of the Australian Made Company, and, oh, and involved in quite a lot of charities as well. So, okay. uh, I just think that's important for people to know. For somebody who's you a new could member. almost have been in the Labor Party, uh, Julie. Oh, oh, don't be. So... <laughs> don't, don't smile at his silly jokes, <laughs> please. Wash uh, your mouth out, Peter. It's, it's <laughs> that's right. That one. That think... one. If it weren't for this seat, we wouldn't be in a majority government. I actually, I'm going to take a leaf out of my new colleague's um, um, book, Christopher Pine, and, and equate it to a Hawthorne-Sydney game. You know, I really see it as a, the election. It was a, like a Hawthorne-Sydney game. It's close all the way through, and then right at the end, um, Cyril kicks a goal and we win by a point. But at the end of the day, we've won government and we're a majority government. Same as it ever was.